not for all of them. <coughs> yeah. Okay. So when looking at this, um, I have 2 divided by the square root of 5 minus 1. And what we need to do is we need to simplify this. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've already talked about two different scenarios. We talked about when I have 1 over the square root of 2, we rationalize the denominators. right? And then we talked about when we have the fourth root of 5x, that we have to take the fourth root of 5 cubed x cubed. right? And we talked about why we needed to do that for both of those terms. Well, now we come into a little problem because we don't have a monomial like we did over here or over there. Now we have a binomial. We have two monomials separated by a subtraction sign. So whenever you have a binomial, if they're separated by a subtraction or by an addition sign, we need to apply some little bit different rules. All right? And what we need to look at here now is what we call by multiplying by the, con the conjugate. And hopefully, if you guys remember, a difference of two squares. When I multiply two binomials, that, and they are difference of two squares, we always know that what was kind of uh, what would happen when we multiply by difference of two squares. Kevin, do you know? No? OK. Does anybody know what happens when you have the difference of two squares? Yes, Fiori. Yeah, well, the middle numbers add up to 0, right? So we know that this multiplying, really all we need to do is multiply the first two terms and the last two terms. So we get x squared minus 1. So let's take a look at this. If I multiply this by my difference of two squares, all right, something very, something very cool is going to happen. First thing, I'm going to square my first two terms. The square root of 5 times square root of 5 is going to leave me with square root of 5 squared, which is just 5, right? And then negative 1 times 1 is going to leave me with a negative 1. So what I get is 2 times square root of 5, um, let's just write out there, plus 1 over square root of 5 squared minus uh, 1 squared. It's negative 1 times 1, which is 1 squared, but it's still just going to be negative 1. So what's cool about this, ladies and gentlemen, is now on our denominator, do we just get rid of our square root? Yeah, we don't have a square root anymore. So when you have a binomial, to get rid of the square root, you have to multiply by the conjugate. So therefore, now I apply the square root of property here. So I get 2 square root of 5 plus 2 divided by that undoes each other. So I have 5 minus 1, which is going to be 4. Then to simplify this, I could divide everything by, I could, divide, I could reduce all of these. So that's become a 2. So my final answer is going to be square root of 5 plus 1 divided by 2. What's 2 divided by 4 reduced to? 2 1 half. 1 half, right? So all I simply did is I have my 4 is divided into both of these, so I can divide both four terms by 4. Huh? The square root of 5 is still right there. Because it's square root of 5 squared. Right? It's Because the square root of 5 times square root of 5 is square root of 5 squared. The square root of 5 squared is just going to leave you with 5. Okay?